Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's October 2020, we're in the A10C2 tank killer. We're looking at the APKWS laser guided rockets. We can have them armed on stations 2, 3, 4, 8, 9 and 10. We can use them without a teapod, but they would usually be used with a teapod. And with a teapod we can have a total of 91, as you can see here. They come in two flavours under air to ground missiles as the M151 with a high explosive warhead or the M282 multi-purpose penetrator as armor penetration. Stations 3, 4, 8 and 9 can have pods of 21 rockets and the outer 10 and 2 stations can have pods with 7 rockets. In this case we've armed up with T-Pod, 42 high explosive variants and 49 penetrator variants. To fire the weapon press and hold weapon release coolie switch right short to cycle between mfd screens on the right mfd left short to cycle between the left mfd screens left long to make this screen soy the center of interest so we can work on that screen and of course right long so that we can make this screen soy and work on this screen boat switch aft and forwards we can use this to cycle between white hot and black hot in the TGP. DMS data management switch we've got forward and aft I'm going to be using them to zoom in and zoom out on the TGP. Left and right are going to be for my weapon selection. Master mode control switch will allow us to choose the method of weapons employment. Next the TMS controls we're only going to use forward and it's forward short to gain a point track on the TGP and then our nozzle steering which is going to fire our designating laser. And finally, our axis controls, we must have HOTAS slew, horizontal HOTAS slew, vertical. But one axis going that way, one axis going that way. We're in a fresh air started aircraft now. The target is about three to four miles on our nose. The condition of the aircraft is master arm on, laser arm on, TGP on and warmed up. First of all, let's look at the setup of the rockets. So we're going to choose our DSMS page on the left. So with HUD as soy, we're going to coolie left short until we get the DSMS page. There we go. Now we're going to go to profile. You can see here we have two profiles, one for the M282 and one for the M151. So we're going to select this one here and view profile. We can change various parameters here. The only one I'm really interested in here is the pod set. So it's currently single. On one push of the weapon release button, we will fire a single rocket or a pair of rockets or a ripple of rockets with the quantity set here. To set the quantity, we would press a number in here and then press that OSB there and that would set the quantity. And finally, we have ripple pairs. We'll ripple out in pairs. Just to keep it simple, let's stick on single. If I change something, I would then click save, but I haven't, so I'm going to get back out to the main screen. Next thing is to show that we can change the PRF, the laser code of our rockets. You can see flashing here under each station the laser code of 1688, which is the standard. I want to deconflict from other A10s in the area, so I'm going to change mine. So, inventory. Select the station I'm interested in, station 4. It is a rocket, and we need to add the laser code in, so 1, 5, Eight, eight. You can see it being added to the scratch pad on the HUD there. And click laser code. To apply that to the weapon, I need to load. So I'm going to load. And stat back to the DSMS page. Station 4 here is now 1588 laser code. And that's the station we'll use. To select the weapon and the correct master mode for that weapon, we can either click that OSB there, or we can do it via the HOTAS. Ensure that the HUD is soy, and it is, we can tell because there's an asterisk there. And we can press the master mode control button, so once, guns, to CCIP, and we're going to fire this in CCIP. Next, we can select the weapon with DMS left and right. So DMS left, it's got the 151, which is not what we want. Another way we can check is here, to check that we get the right, wrong, wrong, correct. Station 4. Here we've got M282L, so correct station, correct weapon, and manual release, the weapon is essentially ready to fire, but obviously we need to go and find our target. We're going to fire up our TGP, which is already warmed up, so air to ground mode. Regards control of the laser and laser code into control here, we need to set the laser code to 1588 to match our rockets, 1588, and then click him there, 1588 latch is important we can either use the laser as push and hold or modal so that you turn it off and turn it on we're going to try push and hold return back to the main tgp screen next we need to find our target so ensure this screen is soy with 
coolie right long. We now have a green frame, so this is soy. We can now use the slew axis to move around, and we can see on our HUD, of course, we will get a diamond. It's there showing where our teapot is pointing. Now, I know there's some bad guys just up here. If you can see that, that's got him roughly in the right area. Note that these crosses denote that those are friendlies, but we'll ignore that for now. I just wanted them not to fire back. DMS forward to zoom in. We can change the field of view if we want to, but I don't think we need to. Aim for center mass. It's currently an area track automatically. I want to convert this to a point track, especially if the vehicle was moving. So TMS forward short. We now have a point track on the vehicle. We're now ready to fire on this guy. Next, we need to ensure that our aircraft is aiming at the target. In terms of how accurately we need to aim, it's recommended that the target is within our reticle here. The rockets will actually work if the target is outside of the reticle, but we're not sure how much by. And for the most efficient shot, I'm just gonna unpause and put him in the reticle. We're not going to use the aiming symbology of the CCIP reticle here. That is only relevant to the unguided use of the rocket. In terms of ranging, for the laser rockets, we just work on the principal rule of thumb, maximum of five miles. We know that within five miles, because we can see here, three miles for the rocket and here three miles in the TGP. To fire the weapon, we can either laze first and then fire the rocket, or fire the rocket, then laze. Just out of habit, I'm gonna laze first. So for me, press and hold laser, fire the rocket, Boom. Once we're set up like this, it's very easy to go and find a new target. Let's go and find a moving target if we can. There's a road here somewhere. And I see some bad guys coming here. Okay, tank. We don't find this particularly useful against heavy armor. So we're going to go light and medium armor. Uh, also, we like to, when tracking moving targets, to use IR if possible. So we're going to use the boat switch, either backwards or forwards, to get white or black hot contrast. So let's do that now. Okay, that's a bit better. Slew onto this guy here, medium to light armor. And we're tracking, and we can fire. So, those are on. He's inside a circle, so definite hit in this case. Fire the missile. One more thing to show that we can ripple these as well, which is a really good use of them. So let's just go and find some, oh, here we go. Look. Some guys here. I can now laze and fire one. Fire two. Fire three. Wait for the first impact. This would be very hard on moving vehicles, but it should be possible. One. two three and you could do that probably about eight or nine if you're really good at that that shows using the apkws rockets in the a10 c2 i hope that was useful and see you later